big Terra Narcis, we step down in size to the Yellow Sally. Well, we're going to step down one more size to the Early Stone. These are generally used in the winter, but can also substitute for an adult midge whenever you want. Let me show you how to do this thing. I'm going to use a standard dry fly hook. I always like to use a ring eye. And let's get our thread attached here. Do it up in the thorax area. And we're ready to tie in some tails. For the tails, we're going to use some mayfly tails or micro fibbits. We're going to select two fibers out of here. And we're going to make them um, just about half the length of the hook shank. Not quite the length of a mayfly tail. And as I wrap back, I'm pulling back on them so they stay right on top of the hook shank. Get to the bend of the hook. And we're going to do a figure eight through them. Take a wrapper underneath. That way those things are going to stay spent the whole time. And then we can take off our excess. Now we're going to do a body. And for that we're going to use a, either a turkey or a goose biot. This, this however, is going to be turkey just because we're using a little bit larger sized hook. And we're going to do, the, do it so that we have the fuzzy little rib. Kind of hard to tell. There we go. So we'll tie that in by the tip. And we'll bring our thread forward. And we're just going to wrap this turkey forward. Most generally, you're going to be tying these in 16, 18s, maybe even some 20s. After you get a few of them tied up, you might even like them for an adult midge, so you can even go smaller if you want. And we get up to the thorax area. And tie it off. Make sure it's tied down real good here. Next thing we're going to do is tie in an underwing. For the underwing, we're going to use some CDC. So I'll select, oh, about three feathers here. And this is the natural done color. Even up the tips, just like so. And we're just going to lay it on there so it's to the length of the body. Hold it up there. Take several turns and tie it off. Come in and snip off our excess. Make sure it's tied down there good. And once we have our CDC tied in there, we're going to add some hackle. For that, we're going to use some whiting hackle. And you can use brown, or in this case, we're going to use some black. So we tie that in, just like so. Bring our thread forward. And we're going to add some dubbing. For that, since we kind of want a blackish brown colored fly, what I'm going to be using is the trico dubbing. The trico dubbing has a little bit of brown mixed in the black, making it perfect for what we're going to want right here. So we get this on here. Just like so. And we're going to dub our thorax. Once the thorax has been dubbed, I'm just going to bring our hackle forward right through it until we get up to the hook eye, tie it off. Take several turns, cut off our excess. Next thing we're going to do is just trim off the top portion of that hackle, just like so. Now we're ready for some wings. For the wings, what I'm going to be using is either a medium done, or in this instance, a light done medallion sheeting. 
So we're going to cut a strip of this. It's like a so. Get a hold of it there. And then I'm going to take one end, lay it across and kind of off to the side. Kind of pinch it and tie it right behind the hook eye. And I'm going to take my thread and wrap, wrap back through the body a couple turns, making sure I tie the wing down. Plus, it also reinforces your hackle. Then I'm going to take the other wing and fold it back, tie it down. Then I'll come forward with the wrap, kind of segmenting our wings a little bit there. And finally take our, our thread up to the hook eye. Now we're ready to whip finish it off. Take a few turns there. Cut off our thread. And if our hackle happens to be up on top where we don't want it, you can just pull it down to the side. Kind of, kind of smash it a little bit so the fly rides a little more flush on the surface. And then we're going to come in and trim our wings. <coughs> For the wings, we're going to go just into the middle of the tail a little bit. Trim it at that length. And then just kind of round them off a little bit, making sure we don't trim our tails off as well. One thing when working with some, some, some of the synthetics that are in light and color, definitely helps to have a, a darker background. It really helps to have a nice light, which provides a color ba balance. So you can see what the fly looks like at your vise just as it's going to be outside. And that's really made possible by hot light. And once we get this all done, that's what I like to call an early start.